This is Twit. So now, we'd like to show you a GPT Live. Zapier has built a GPT that, let, that lets you perform actions across 6,000 applications to unlock all kinds of integration possibilities. I'd like to introduce Jessica, one of our solutions architects, who is going to drive this demo. Welcome, Jessica. This is the gizmo thing that I was talking about pre, as we were warming up. This is what it's mm -hmm. all about, mm -hmm. creating your own Got GPTs. Um, Thank you all for being here. My yeah, name is with your voice, Day. essentially, with, with your words. I work with partners and customers to bring their product to live. And today, <laughs> this I, I can't wait to show all the you how hard we've been working on this. So let's get started. <laughs> it frees them so up for something else, Jeff. Where your GPT uh, yes. will live <laughs> is on this upper left corner. I'm going to start with clicking on the Zapier AI Actions. And on the right-hand side, you can see that's my calendar for today. So it's quite a day. I've already used this before, so it's actually already connected to my calendar. To start, I can ask, what's on my schedule for today? We build GPTs with security in mind. So before it performs any action or share data, it will ask for your permission. So right here, I'm going to say allowed. So GPT is designed to take in your instructions make the decision on which capability to call to perform that action, and then execute that for you. So you can see right here, it's already connected to my calendar. It pulls into my, my information. And then I've also prompted it to identify conflicts on my calendar. So you can see right here, it actually was able to identify that. So it looks like I have something coming up. So what if I want to let Sam know that I have to leave early? So right here I say, let Sam... Huh. Huh. No, I got to go. Um, chasing GPUs. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to swap to my conversation with Sam. And then I'm going to say, yes, please run that. Sam, did you get that? I did. The awesome. demo worked. So. This is Dark only mode. a glimpse mm -hmm. of what is possible, and I cannot wait to see what you all Your will build. Nemesis. Thank you, and back to you, Sam. <laughs> hmm. thank, thank you, Jessica. So those are three great examples. In addition to these, there are many more kinds of GPTs that people are creating, and many, many more that will be created soon. We know that many people who want to build the GPT don't know how to code. We've made it so that you can program the GPT just by having a conversation. We believe that natural language is going to be a big part of how people use computers in the future, and we think Once this is again, an interesting going back early to the example. episode of AI Inside. So I'd like to show you how to build one. Who was it that yep. said English language is the programming language of the programming language of the world of the yep. world? All right. So I want to create a GPT uh, that helps give that. founders and developers yeah. advice it's when starting new projects. Spot on. Um, yeah. And a demonstration like this is only evidence of that. You know. And this drops me into the GPT Builder. Uh, I worked with founders for years at YC. And still, whenever I meet developers, the questions I get are always about, how do I you know, think about a business idea? Can you give me some advice? Uh, I'm going to see if I can build a GPT to help with that. So to start, GPT Builder asks me GPT. what I want to make. <laughs> and I'm going to say, I want to help startup founders think through their business ideas and get advice after the founder has gotten some advice uh, grill them <laughs> on why they are not growing faster <laughs> <laughs> all right so to start off I just tell the GPT a little bit about about what I want here and it's gonna go off and start thinking about that and it's gonna write some detailed instructions for the GPT um, it's also gonna Let's see, ask me about a name. How do I feel about Startup Mentor? That's fine. Uh, that's good. So if I didn't like the name, of course, I could call it something else. But it's you know, going to try to have this conversation with me and, and start there. And you can see here on, uh, on, on the right profile the picture. that it's already starting to fill out the GPT, um, where it says what it does. It, it looks like Mark Andreessen. Ideas of additional questions that I could ask. Um, and... <laughs> You know what? I actually, so it just generated a candidate. Of course, I could regenerate that or change it, but I sort of like that. So I will say, that's great. And you see now that the GPT is being built out a little bit more as we go. Now, what I want this to do 
um, how it can interact with users. I could talk about style here, but what I'm going to say uh, is I am going to upload transcripts of some lectures about startups I have given. Please give advice based off of those. Uh -huh. All right. So now building uh, notebook LM. it's going to go figure out yeah, how to do right. that. And I would like to show you the yeah. configure tab. So you can see some of the things that were built out here as we were going um, by, by the builder itself. And you can see that there's capabilities here that I could enable. Um, I could add custom actions. These are all fine to leave. Um, I'm going to upload a file. Uh, so here is a lecture that I picked that I used to, that I gave with some startup advice. Um, and I'm going to add that here. In terms of these questions, uh, this is a dumb one. The rest of those are reasonable uh, and like very much things founders often ask. Um, I'm going to add one more thing to the instructions here, which is be concise and constructive with feedback. All right. So again, if we had more time, I'd show you a bunch of other things. But this is, uh, this is like a decent start. And now uh, we can try it out over on this preview tab. So I will say, um, what's a common question? What are three things to look? F Oops. What are three things to look for when voice. hiring employees? Yeah, right. At an early stage startup. That now really it's going to look at the, the document the I uploaded. Um, it'll also heads, have, of course, you know, all of the background right knowledge. Right now we're in a, you know, interacting in a browser on this stuff, but I think that's the vision: is that all this? Yeah, stuff that's pretty good. Those are three things that I definitely have said many times. Um, now we could go on, and it would start following the other instructions. <laughs> it's basically the BS here. Me I'm not growing faster. Every startup advisor. In the advisor. Of time, I'm going to skip that. Worry about uh, cultural I'm going to publish fit. this only to me for now. Uh, I can work on it later. I can add more content. I can add a few actions that I think would be useful. Um, and then I can share it publicly. So that's it's what it looks like to create a I don't mean to be cynical, but it just... Yeah, it, right. Well, yeah, I, what is the depth? It, that, that's neat that you can do that kind of on the fly yeah, and as you go and that you can upload your own content. For a teacher, I can imagine that. it'd be I've really useful. i wanted to do that. For sure, for sure. But what, yeah, what is man, the depth to which it goes? Or do yeah, you get awesome. those kind of answers that we're so used so to seeing with GPTs, a lot of these large language right. models are like, ah, share okay, here we go again. You know, it's they use how, how rich world. is the output? You can make private That's GPTs like I just did. Or you can share your creations publicly with a link for anyone to use. Or if you're on social GPT enterprise, GPTs. you can make hmm. GPTs just for your company. GPT is the next social and later network, this month, Jeff. Well, we're going to launch the GPT store. <laughs> You can list a GP store. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> right. This is, yeah. You can list a GPT there, and we'll be able to feature the best and the most popular GPTs. Of course, we'll make sure that GPTs in the store follow our policies before they're accessible. Yeah, Apple's revenue sharing is important to us. We're going to pay people who build the most useful and the most used GPTs a portion of our revenue. We're excited to foster a vibrant ecosystem with the GPT store. Just from what we've been building ourselves over the weekend, we're confident there's going to be a lot of great stuff. We're excited to share more information soon. Uh, I wonder what that portion is. So those are GPTs, mm -hmm. and we can't wait to see what you'll build. Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. ACI's newest product, Insights, assists in closing lucrative skill gaps so your team won't fall behind. Empower your team, outmaneuver threats, and gain essential insight into your business. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit today. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro enterprise solution plan. The discount is based on the size of your team when you fill out their form. 